Hey, what's up guys? It's Lori Harvey and I'm going to walk you guys through my skincare routine and my everyday day to night makeup routine. I'm going to start with my cleanser. This is actually a product from my skincare line that is coming out very soon. I have really sensitive skin. So I wanted to create a cleanser that had a low pH. So it didn't leave my skin feeling stripped or like dry after. I have this Eminence Stone Crop Hydrating Mist I like to use as a toner. I'm really extra, so I like to get a lot on there. So I've always been really obsessed with having like super hydrated and glowy skin. When I was younger, I didn't really know like what to do or how to achieve that. So when I was little, I would wash my face with a warm washcloth every morning. And then I would lather myself in Vaseline and just let it like sit because I felt like I was letting it like just seep into my skin and like really moisturize and hydrate me. In hindsight, all I was doing was clogging my pores up, which led to me having really bad acne as like a preteen and teenager. So as I got older, that had me like really obsessed with skincare. I'm gonna use this Eminence Bright Licorice Fruit Boosting Serum. I scar really easily. So this serum is really good or if I've had extractions done and I have like little scars, it helps to just fade them and keep my skin tone nice and even. Skincare is definitely one of the highest forms of self-care. I'm going to be using my daytime serum. It has hyaluronic acid in it, vitamin C. I tested all my products, of course, on myself, but I also tested them on my boyfriend. He has become my live um, test model. So now he's very into his skincare routine as well. And he tells me all the time that when he's on set, the makeup artists compliment his skin now. So, you know, dark circles and bags run in my family, it's hereditary. So, my mom always taught me prevention is better than correction. So making the perfect eye cream was very, very, very important for me when I was making my skincare line. So I pretty much learned everything I know from watching my mom do her skincare routine. My moisturizer, I like to combine it with this Joanna Vargas Rescue Serum. And then next, I like to just put this on my lips, this Laneige lip balm. Pretty much gotten all of the men in my life on a skincare regimen, my dad included, because he did nothing. So I was like, okay, I'll help you out here. So I gave him all my products and he's obsessed. And if you're wondering why his skin looks so good lately, it's good me. So. <laughs> Moving on to makeup. So first, I like to use this Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer, and it also has SPF in it. My best friend is a makeup artist, so she taught me this little trick. I take this little brush, and I have my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this all over my face. First, it just really makes my foundation go on super smooth and flawless and just have no pores. It lasts all day. I'm gonna set it. And now we are ready to apply foundation. I'm gonna use these two. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundations and mix them. I like to mix it with a Q-tip. <laughs> so it all blends together. I like to use this 
Fenty Beauty Match Stick to do my contour. I wet my beauty blender a little bit. And kind of just give my face a little bit of definition. So on a really, really good skin day, if I'm just trying to run out the house, I'll just do a little bit of concealer. Um, I like to use Biscuit because it's closest to my skin tone when I don't have anything on my face. And then I like to use it and ginger under my eyes just to like brighten up a little bit. I love a bright under eye. Next, this one. I'm gonna go back to this Laura Mercier translucent powder. I've tried a million different setting powders and this is my favorite. So it is just tried and true. So I have my Ellie Baker Brow Brow Palette. Kelly is the only person that I trust to do my brows. I have had some real horror stories when it comes to my brows. Um, I used to just let anybody in the nail salon wax them and one girl just like completely took them off. I had like no brows anymore. So after that, I had to let them dry for a couple years and now I'm traumatized and I just only let Kelly do them. So I'm gonna take this little brow pencil and go in the darker shade and just kind of fill in the edges a little bit, just where it's like a little bit thinner. To really define them, I use this little tool right here. And then she has almost like a little concealer pencil. So I'm gonna take the pencil and I kind of just go across it with the brush like that. Get some product on it. The last step, I like to do eyebrow gel obsessed with eyebrow gel. But before I do that, I'm gonna blend my this powder right here. I first got into makeup, um, watching my mom when I was younger. She would always get her makeup done, so I literally would just sit and like stare at her and like the makeup artist while they were doing it until I literally learned how to do it myself. And then also my best friend's makeup artist. So I'll just, when we're together, I'll be like, show me how to do this or teach me this technique. So. And then also when she would see me do my makeup, she'd be like, that's wrong. And I'm sure she's probably gonna watch this video and be like, that was wrong, but whatever it's like. So next, I'm gonna do my bronzer. I like to use like three different brushes when I do my bronzer, cause I don't know, I just feel like it gets the job done. So I like to use this one first. It's like angled and it like gives me that little angled contour look that I like. really don't know how to contour my nose. So I kind of just go along the edge like that. And I feel like it gives it like a little extra definition. Maybe it doesn't, but in my mind it does. So I actually like to go over that bronzer with this Urban Decay. I have this Urban Decay Naked eye palette, get a little bit, I'm just put that all over. All my sisters are like 10 plus years older than me, so I really grew up in the house with my brothers. So they used to get really annoyed with me because I would always take forever. And I remember one time I was getting ready in a, <laughs> in a dark bathroom and this was before I, you know, knew that if it's darker, don't do your makeup so heavy because you can't really, really see what you look like. So because I couldn't see it in the mirror, I was doing more until I could see it. But then when I got in regular light, it was like crazy. So my contour was like insane. 
And I remember my little brother, like he saw me, he gasped. He was like, <gasps> he was like, Lori, why are your cheeks so dark? Like they're a completely different shade. And I was like really embarrassed because I was walking around like that all day and nobody said anything to me. So, you know, lesson learned. So next I'm gonna take this little brush right here and I'm gonna go and do cayenne to just give like right here a little bit more definition. So I'll just do a little brown eyeshadow on my bottom lash line. So I have lashes on right now, so I actually am not gonna do mascara at all. So we're gonna go for a little bit more of a bronzy look today. Okay, like that, like that. For like my everyday makeup, I usually like to stay in like a bronzy, brown, taupe, nude colorway. Um, if I'm feeling real spicy, I might go more into like orangey tones. I am not an eyeliner pro. I do not know how to do eyeliner very well. So I actually like to do my eyeliner with eyeshadow. So I take this little thin brush right here and I'm gonna go in with ashes. I'm gonna go into my favorite, which is blush. I have two blush palettes right here by NARS. So I'm gonna mix the two. I like to look a little flushed because naturally I'm like very rosy, like I said. So I still kind of like to keep that look a little bit. So I'll kind of like to mix like a lighter pink and more of like an orangey type of blush to kind of get that look. To use this brush and just make sure there's no harsh lines anywhere. I love to look at like old 90s glam kind of for like inspiration. When I'm doing my makeup, I just feel like that was such a timeless era. And I loved how they did everything, like from the way they dressed, the way they did their makeup, hair, everything was like very effortless. So next, we're gonna go into lips. So this is currently my favorite lip liner. It is from Patrick Ta. have this Pat McGrath lip gloss. On the pad is my all-time makeup beauty inspiration. I love her. She taught me so much. She was the first person I worked with in the beauty industry. There's definitely a lack of um, black women in the beauty space and in the skincare space. So she definitely inspired me um, to create my own brand, um, just seeing how successful she's been. And just like, look at the color, look at the finish, love it. So next I'm gonna set my face again with this Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Last but not least, because we know how much I love to be dewy and glowy and radiant. Tom Ford highlighting powder. Clearly it is very used. I use it every day. This is the only highlighter that I like to use. So I take this little brush and I mix the two like this. My little secret. This Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set. And then I tap my highlight. And like, it just really gives it an extra glow. And we are done. Hope you guys enjoyed my skincare and my day-to-day -day makeup routine and learn some new tips and tricks. See you guys later. Bye.